I was just told that Lisa at Kiwi's New Life Parrot Rescue named these little guys after us. I'll let you guess which one's Dave, which one's Jamie, and I'll tell you at the end. So don't skip to the end, because this is gonna be a good video on feather condition. And these are our specimens. And this is my new hairdo. Feathers can tell you a lot about the health of the bird. If you've got a lot of um, black lines or discoloration of the feathers, that can be an indication of stress. We call them stress bars. Very dark or blackened feathers can be an indication of excessive handling. Uh, if you love to pat your bird, some species of birds, um, their feathers go quite dull as a result of the oil coming off on your fingers and damaging the feathers and the feather quality. Poor feather quality can be an indication of poor diet. So feathers require things like vitamin A uh, and other forms of uh, vitamins and minerals in order to grow a healthy colour and healthy size and um, in, in healthy condition. Poor feather quality can also be an indication of poor grooming. So poor grooming could be uh, a result of health conditions. So sometimes the older birds, especially that are arthritic, sometimes they can't reach their feathers and groom properly. Other conditions that uh, could result in poor feathering could be related to behaviour. So some birds, as a result of behaviour problems, will chew their feathers and damage their feathers. So it's important to make sure your bird's environment is enriched. I see a lot of bird feathers that are, I believe are very, very dull, not only from diet deficiencies, but also from lack of access to UV light. UV light is underestimated in terms of giving the bird that extra health they need. Some people believe that their bird can get UV light through glass um, by just setting up their cage close to the um, windows. However, this is not the case. The UV that they need, UVB, is a very weak radiation from the sun, uh, so it won't travel through glass. So changes in feathers can tell us a lot about how the bird is coping and what might be happening in their life. So here we see a whole lot of uh, stress bars that are occurring on this particular feather. So when this feather was growing, uh, at, this, at these stages when this part of the feather was developing, uh, the bird was undergoing some stresses and as a result the feather hasn't developed properly. We can also see defects like this pinching here. Now sometimes this can be a result of disease, it may be a result of the way the bird has been kept. We commonly see stress bars in hand reared birds because hand rearing is a stressful event for most birds and some people still don't hand rear very well uh, so it can be a result of poor hand rearing but even some good hand rearers uh, struggle with feather quality. First clutches of birds you may also get some stress bars because the parents are still learning how to parent their birds but you might also get stress bars in parent reared birds as a result of poor nutrition and poor keeping of the birds as well. Uh, so we see lots of problems with um, people who breed birds who might have nutritional problems such as calcium deficiencies. Poor feather colouring uh, is really important. This feather is not too bad, um, but you can get some really dull feathering as well, which would be an indication of stress or nutritional issues. A lot of different changes can be seen in the feathers. Um, sometimes you'll find these, this part of the feather here is called the vein. Um, and this is where we see a lot of the changes occurring. If a bird is over grooming, you might find that, the, that all the little parts of the vein are, are separated out. Um, the vein uh, has a whole lot of tiny little hooks um, that sort of link 
the feathers feather together and as the bird grooms he's trying to groom that vein back into place so it's in proper condition it all joins up it's like a little zipper in between each section of feather that just links together if they're doing a lot of over grooming or uh, they're um, damaging their feathers on the side of the cage um, or there's really poor nutrition uh, then you'll get this separation out and you'll get what a very tatty or ratty kind of feather uh, look and the feathers are like that until they molt so then you won't get a new feather coming until the old feather molts out uh, so any damage there that's occurred uh, will remain until the feather has been removed this here is a very subtle kind of stress bar here um, so this has uh, occurred as the feather grew there was some kind of stress occurring at the stage when that part of the feather was developing and we can also see here how that vein all links up together so it's there's little what we call barbules that are linking all these um, barbs which are these fine sections of the vein together you can see how that sort of forms that um, vein and it feels like it looks like it's a solid um, section but it's actually lots of tiny 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 little sections linked together and it's kind of like a zipper so it shouldn't look like this and it shouldn't have be have all pieces taken out of it usually if it's got lots of little pieces taken out of it that's because the bird is over groomed Sometimes tail feathers will look very ratty and damaged um, and that may be because the bird is spending a lot of time on the ground or the husbandry is inappropriate so the perches are placed in inappropriate paces maybe too close to the bars of the cage or maybe the perches are, are too close together or maybe there's too many toys and, and cage furniture around that the bird can't um, stretch out its tail uh, without um, hitting something or, or um, damaging something. This is a macaw feather, and one of the issues we have with macaw tails, especially young birds, uh, is when they're starting to fly, they have no idea where their tail is. Uh, and commonly we get damaged tail feathers on these young birds because as they learn to fly, they're constantly banging around their tails and landing awkwardly. Um, and until they learn how to fly with long tails, uh, we can get a lot of tail feather damage from those birds. Look at that feather difference, that's insane. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. They're making me miss my loud, noisy, obnoxious sun kind of. Got All right, let's see those of you that guessed correctly. Which one's Dave? Which one's Jamie? This one's Dave. This one's Jamie. Did you guess correctly? Tell me in the comments. Look who flew back to me. It's Dave. He likes me. You're adorable. Oh, my earring. Of course, the day I wear an earring. There, doesn't exist. You're so cute. Like the real Dave. They're just so cute. It's your pink hair. No, they, so this is like Jinx's thing, but birds love my hair. I mean, feel it, it's really soft. Birds in my hair, it's really funny. Jinx loves it, it's Jinx's thing. These guys not scared of your nail polish, which is a nice change. Nail polish? <laughs> it is a nice change. They're so cute. My son Conyers try to like preen the mascara off my eyelashes, I hate it. I'm like, no. I'm glad you